Hey guys, today I just want to talk to you about a uh, pickup that I uh, got last week. This is a uh, Mortal Kombat 2 uh, PCB, and uh, this is the uh, the soundboard that that comes off of it as well. And I uh, picked this up off eBay last week. I was very excited to get a hold of this. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2 is one of those boards that I've always wanted to get my hands on. Big been been a big fan of the game since um, the home consoles came out back in the early 90s and uh, finally got a hold of this um, got all this as a package actually pretty cheap off eBay so I raced home uh, when I found out the package came in the mail and uh, hooked it all up and found out that there was no sound and um, I remember that Luke Morse 1 had a similar problem with his boards and he had some tutorials about how to make things work um, by um, needing negative 5 volts coming out of your power supply into your jammer harness. So I did some investigation on this and this is what I found out and this is my solution. Um, first things first is that if you look at the jammer harness here on the, uh, the one I've got here from coming out of the Blast City, um, your first four pins or your first two are grounds and I think that the second next to a uh, are uh, plus five volts and then the fifth one here is the negative five. As you can see the fifth one is actually not connected to anything so that explains why we're not getting any negative five volts um, but doing more investigation I found out that there's actually no negative five volt line that comes out of the Blast City itself uh, which makes things even more interesting because how you're supposed to get negative five flowing through to your boards um, you know short of replacing uh, your power supply with something different which I certainly don't want to do um, you know just for one one arcade board um, as good as Mortal Kombat is so I did some research on the internet and found out that the easiest way to um, make this work is to build a device like this and let me show it to you um, this is a pretty terrible piece of soldering but this this uh, let's put this down this piece of equipment here is called a um, negatron and what it does it takes a positive voltage and negates it into a negative voltage so the theory behind it is is that if we take um, a, uh, a a plus 12 line here um, and feed it through this piece of equipment it'll come back as a negative voltage which we we can then apply to pin 5 which is the minus 5 now you're probably asking yourself well why would you use plus 12 that sounds like too much you're going to end up with minus 12 well the reason why that the plus 12 is needed is because um, there's not enough uh, current or not enough juice on the plus 5 line to actually make this work. Um, the, the consensus is that you need to use the plus 12 that has enough current and enough juice to actually um, drive the minus 5. The next question you're probably asking is, well, if you use the plus 12 volts, then you're going to end up with minus 12 on your minus 5 line. So that's not, that doesn't sound good. It sounds like you're probably going to damage some equipment. Well, the good news there is, is that this actual uh, Negatron device has a um, little resistor here that you can adjust. Um, and it, you can adjust it to uh, anywhere between negative 12 and negative 3 I believe so what I did was when I hooked this all up obviously I didn't hook it up t directly to the jammer board um, and kind of test it that way I hooked this up to a uh, power supply first I just fed it the uh, the plus 12 on the ground and with a multimeter I um, was testing the uh, the negative five line, and initially it was uh, negative eight. Um, so while I was doing that, I was adjusting this um, this dial here, and got it down to negative five. Um, so I tested that with the multimeter. So this is all set for um, plus twelve in and negative five out, which is correct. And this is this line here. It's red as well, but it's kind of been labeled. This is the ground. So um. Apart from the, the shoddy soldering and the super long wires, uh, this device actually works fine. And I'm going to uh, plug this in here and, and show you guys how this all works. So I'm going to put this camera here on this little stand here, which is probably not ideal, but um, let's see what we'll do here. 
I really need to get some kind of tripod for this, but um, I haven't got there yet. Uh, that should be fine there, so yeah. All right, so this is the jammer harness, and what, what I'm going to do is um, plug this in to the PCB itself. So this will go here, and just make sure you get the the right, uh, you know, the part side matching the part side and, and all that stuff. There's no key here, so just be extra careful that you've got the right connection. You haven't got it around the wrong way. So you plug in your board in that way, and then you feed your jammer harness to the board that you've made. So as you can see, we've got that hooked up. As a secondary precaution, um, I've got my uh, Negatron kind of dangling underneath the board there, which is probably not ideal. So I'm going to get a piece of paper or something and just, uh, I'm not sure if you can see, but let me show you. Uh, if you see that there, it's super dark, we can't really see there, but if you look underneath here, you can see it's just kind of dangling under there. We certainly don't want that to happen when we turn the power on. So I'm just going to grab a sheet of paper or some cardboard or something to uh, wedge between there for now. As you can hear, the sounds coming out now. up a little bit but as you can hear that sound uh, is working great and this device uh, the Negatron will work on any um, other boards that need this so it's Probably a good idea if you have a uh, Blast City or a Sibilic Handicap that doesn't have the minus five, just build one and put it aside. Um, just in case you do pick up one of those boards that need the negative five, I think Double Dragon's another popular one that needs the negative five as well. But um, yeah, we've got uh, glorious sound coming out of the MK2 board and um, very, very pleased. So this will certainly uh, go into the cab um, and be my next uh, thing that I play for the next week or so. So very pleased about this. And I uh, only took about an hour worth of uh, soldering last night. I did order the, uh, the parts um, a few days ago and they came in all yesterday. So I s spent about an hour or so getting this all in place last night. And uh, yeah, it all worked fine, which is great. So um, like I said, this is not something that I, I I've came up with. This is obviously something that people have done before, but for a lot lots of people out there that, um, you know, uh, are not sure about uh, some of this technical stuff and, and how to make things work. Um, I'm by no means an expert on any of this. Just uh, did some reading on the uh, internet and um, did some uh, basic soldering and uh, got uh, what I needed up and running fairly easily. So yeah, that's pretty much all I want to show you guys today. Um, thanks for watching and um, yeah, we'll catch you again next time.